Next, we're going to take a look at a special photo exhibition aiming to show teenage life through the eyes of teenagers themselves. Now, Irina, who's from Ukraine, is one of five 15-year-olds from around the world who shared a view of her life. Shaniqua and some London pupils went to take a look. These photos tell the story of 15-year-old Irina, who's a survivor of war. In these pictures, I tried to tell a story of how we all were fleeing the city when the war started. I'm at the Street Child Showcase, where five brave 15-year-olds who live in some of the world's toughest places have taken photos for everyone to see. The flower here is kind of illuminated, and I think maybe that depicts Irina's hope that she'll make it through this, that Ukraine can make it through this, the horrible war they're going through. These photos were taken by Irina, who lives in Ukraine. Currently, her country is at war, and these photos show what she and her family have been going through. And how do you feel when you look at those images now? Um, now, I feel a bit nostalgic when I see those pictures, and it's strange because when I used to look at them, and I look at them now, I have a different feeling to what I did before. It may seem strange when I look at them and all the horrifying emotions that we had, but now I look at them differently. I think that like she's genuinely really talented and as teenagers we're used to like taking pictures on our phones, just like everything we see trying to capture aspects of our life. And it's just like she's caught this moment of her life which is like a really like bad time and it's like one of maybe even the lowest points of her life seeing her like her future slip away from her but she's still managing like for this picture for example to capture some of the, the beautiful aspects of her life that still exists and maybe like a sliver of hope that she can still have for the future um in these photos i feel very sad for her and sympathetic because she even said herself that she feels empty and, in, and she's very exhausted You've been very brave sharing your story. We really appreciate it. How do you want other kids to feel when they look at your images? I want for other kids to feel and understand that everything can be overcome. There's always hope, and I want them to have that with them. And I know that everything can get better. They can overcome many situations, including this one. If I had to say something, I would say do the things that make you happy because everyone's different, they're unique, and some of us live different lives. Some of us lives on, lives in, live in farms, some of us live in the countryside, some of us live in the city, but there are different things that make us all happy and make us who we are. So they should do what they think is, makes them happy and makes them who they are.